Hello everybody, this is Cyberton John, and today we are going to be reviewing um, some 3D printer stuff. So today I'm showing you an accessory. This is an accessory which I don't have on my G1 Blitzwing. So yeah, today we are upgrading my G1 Blitzwing with a tank turret and some weapons. So, um, as you can see, uh, they are 3D printed in separate pieces. You have the hatch, you have the barrel, and you have the turret itself. Um, I'm going to show you how to um, how to make this first. Then we are going. Then I'm going to try and show you how to install it. Um, I've not installed it yet, so this is a bit of experiment and possibly failure. How you are going to install this is, first of all, you want to take the gun and the turret, and you are going to slide them together, like so. Then what you are going to do is you are going to take the hatch, you are going to put them together, and... Well, now you have the tank turret. So, I'm going to get this guy into tank mode. And we are going to... Well, I am going to show you how to install it. To install... I'm going to try again. You take the hatch off. You see the hole in there. You see that. Plug them on top. And you are then going to turn them like so. Like so. And you're then just gonna pop the hatch back on. And well, look at what we have. We have a Blitzwing in tank mode with an actual tank turret that works. My god. That is awesome. It looks awesome, honestly, it does. So, does this affect anything in any of his other modes? Well, I'm going to take him to jet mode. This is designed to slide, which is very, very nice. Um, very, very nice of it to be able to slide. So we can have that portion um, out at the back. Uh, I've discovered some si a situation. Ayo, I cannot, cannot completely convert that on top of it. Wait, that 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 sucks unfortunately. So you got you gotta take it off unfortunately to get that off, reinstall it, and then you can place that at the back there with the hatch um the hatch back on. But it doesn't limit anything. It does not limit anything is great. That's a jet mode. And well, I'm gonna take him to robot mode. So, what you are gonna be doing for robot mode is you're gonna be taking the hatch out, you're gonna be taking that out, they're gonna be used for something else. You are going to then rotate those up, you gotta slide the legs and just prop him back into uh, robot mode, essentially. Whatever happens to uh, him at the back is whatever happens, but you know, it's just how loose it is right now. Anyway, <laughs> there we go, here he is. How do you give him the weapons? Well. We look under here, you can see there's that, there is this, we just, hmm, there, there is a slot here, there's a hole in his hand, we prop that into there, he has a gun, hey, so, here is the shield right now, um, we are now going to give him the shield by doing something. 
popping it on there. There we go. There we go. So, now, with 3D printer pieces, you can arm your Blitzwing. G1 Blitzwing with weapons if you didn't have any weapons or a turret on him. Now, I am going to be reviewing even more genius inventions like this um, that people have made because this is going to reduce the idea of difference of having to buy a new Blitzwing because you cannot find any G1 Blitzwing turrets for sale. Now, unfortunately, this does limit you if this is because you have to 3D print this, but I'm sure if someone else who is a friend um, can 3D print it for you if they have a 3D printer, then hopefully, you know, you can reach out to them and ask them to do it for you, um, if that is even possible. I will be leaving the link in the description below to where you can get this for free, and um, so that you can also read up about the genius mastermind behind this creation. This has been Cybertron John with fresh, new, of the 3D printer accessories for G1 Blitzwing as permanent replacements. Peace out.